Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you guys how to change a G62 sensor for the coolant. Uh, I guess this is a common issue and I haven't found any videos online how to get it replaced or where it's located, but through forms, I was able to locate it. Uh, there's another one you guys are probably familiar with. It's a G83 sensor, which is this one right here. So I recently started having a problem with my cooler uh, with my uh, thermostat, uh, heat going all the way up, even though the car was completely uh, cold, never started in, on the day. And uh, I figured out that through the code that it was a P, uh, I'm not 100% sure what it was, it was P0117. It was something related to the cool temperature. And there's a couple of things to uh, remove to get access to it, but through the forms, There's a little, uh, I can't focus. There's that sensor right in there that connects to here. It's a black one there, right there, as you can see, not really well, but I'm touching the bolt right there, right next to the other one, it's this one right here. And all you need to do is to remove the battery, which connects here. You got one bolt here should have another one here and one that's six on the side that goes on there and to remove the battery it's pretty simple you can figure that out without an issue just unscrew your little positives and negatives and there's this little um piece that holds the battery in that you unscrew a bolt also that connects in the front of the battery um and then after that just to get easier access you can uh also unscrew your uh, intercooler piping to get easier access right over here and I don't think you need to remove anything of this because I was able to unplug the sensor just right here and to get through there I'm just going to use the extension like this and put it through but I'll figure that out later but I can demonstrate with a little allen key that connects right to it as you can see right there I got it on there and it looks exactly the one that's on ECS, but I got it through a Volkswagen dealer. So after replacing it, but we'll, we'll see if my thermostat sensor engine is fixed. So I wanted also to mention, uh, it's really hard to find it online, that sensor, that specific sensor. So I'll uh, post a link down in the description from ECS, but you can call your nearest Volkswagen or Audi dealer and just let them know with a little, um, part number which i'll provide in the description also for the g62 temperature sensor because when you search up a uh, coolant temperature sensor this is the one that shows up which is right here it's a g83 that one always shows up when you search it up so it's i don't know why but i'll put in the, uh, in the description all the information for regarding that uh, g62 sensor and i'll most likely be posting another video about this um but I, I before I started recording this, I should have uh, showed you guys what's on my gauges, how it shows full heat, even though the car, car is cold and the fans run crazy loud for no reason, uh, thinking the car is overheating when it's not. So I'll be getting the part tomorrow from the Volkswagen dealer and I'll be installing it tomorrow. So I'm most likely be posting a video tomorrow, seeing if it works and me trying to install it also. I uh, hope this guy helps you because I'm gonna start, this is my first video on my Audi and I've done a lot to it so far. As you can see, you got inlet pipe, you got a discharge, delete, you got an intake. I got a lot done to this car, but I'll start posting cars, car video stuff on my Audi because might as well help out other people with any issues. So hopefully this could be a good experience for others that watching also. I had so many problems on this car, like a cool leak was able to find a month later, oil, but yeah, I'll be posting a whole bunch of content about this car. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.